morning, everybody. Farming Simmer 22, FS22, whatever you want to call it. It's great. <laughs> anyway, um, getting ready to jump in and do some things. Obviously, snow turned into spring, and uh, that's cool. I think I kind of missed over. Oh, maybe I did. Sorry, it's hard. I've been doing a lot of... It's funny, I've been playing this game pretty, pretty non-stop since it started, but... Mostly been playing multiplayer with people because we're trying to do all the cross cross platform and jump around and do things. So I haven't really had time to sit down and do a single solo game with me myself and I because I'm trying to figure stuff out. But either way, get that going here pretty soon. Of course, my dog wants to come over here and play, right? <laughs> She's a goof. Anyway, I was going through these and uh, now, of course, you can go to the PlayStation Store. Uh, there's some issues going on right now still. Opening week, few couple, first couple of days, few days, of course. I think anybody that knows anything, it's going to be, it's going to take a lot of time to figure some stuff up, but that's okay. It's, it's what it is. As long as you expect, accept that, or even wait a week or two for the game to play it steadily, it'll it'll get better no matter what. Um, so as we go through here, I was looking at um, so basically mod hub. So looking at the mod hub situation, so you have the career, of course, which is regular. You got ten slots on console, twenty on PC. Multiplayer, um, we don't have an option to do a dedicated server on here as of yet, so I'm not sure how that goes about it. anyway. And then we got the downloadable content, so this is the mod hub. So I was looking through here, and of course, uh, PlayStation, like I said, I'm sure the Xbox is the same type of deal where instead of left or L1 and R1, it's I think it's LB, I don't remember what the bottom one is. Anyway, <laughs> you can, instead of scrolling across the top like we are right now, you scroll down with the bumpers there that goes up and down, so it's pretty wild. It's your main mud hub. It doesn't have all the categories like 19 does. I'm sure those will add in there as well, of course. Small tractors so far we've got is the Fiat Medium. Got the uh, Case 7200, which is fantastic. Large. This I'm still getting a problem with. Uh, oh, yeah, so I have it purchase but I can't get it downloaded because I'm going to an error. Which, same thing, first week it's going to give us some issues. That came out yesterday, just, all these came out yesterday, most of the stuff came out yesterday. And uh, just, now you go into this mod hub just like anything else, boom, boom, boom. There they are. And then you go down to once you got installed, and it shows the same as normal government subsidiary realism modding. Realism miss modding. Sorry, my bad. Um, well, I should probably let's go ahead and rate these, huh? There, how's that? <laughs> Same thing as normal. Oh, this one definitely is getting a good rating from me. I love that tractor. So yeah, just some of those little deals like that. Um, so same thing installed, and then you go down the next ones. Update, no updates available. Downloads, no downloads. Up. Downloadable content, it'll show if you don't have it yet. Um, this is pre purchased stuff, they're all unlocked, so yay. Trying to get my butt in there and play with those because I haven't touched them yet. <laughs> um, yeah, and then the best, of course, same thing, there's nothing hardly in here yet. Most downloaded, <laughs> I mean, not much in here yet. Let me scroll down to latest. This is just same thing as the old mod have recommended, of course, to give some options. Now, another thing I was noticing as I was scrolling through here, go through, oh, look at this, look at that, okay, cool. Top right corner, used console storage. I was like, hmm, that's interesting. I didn't know this that before. I don't know if it's 19, I'm pretty sure that's not there, but um, as I was going through here, I was like, well, that's an interesting one. What? Why is it? Got those weird numbers. So apparently, I only have 130.73 megabits out of 8,190.61 megabits. So basically, 8 gigs. So a little over 8 gigs. Because I added those together and I get 8,321.4. Why? Well, 0.34 actually, what it would be, but uh, put, I didn't put the decimal point too far. Either which way, we're looking at. Not sure why that. So eight point, just a little over eight, almost not even eight and a half gigs, eight point three gigs and stuff. It's kind of weird how. But and this is also PS5, so I don't know if PS4 or Xbox, you know, 
one would be different or not. I don't know. But it's interesting. So at least it does show. Because I know on uh, FS19, I can never tell how close I was until I hit something that told me. I only have this much of that much space left. I guess that was, yeah, that was only f like 4 gigs, wasn't it? So I think that was quite a bit smaller now that I think about it. I, I don't know. I have to go back and look at that. But <laughs> either way, um, yeah, there's your slot count issues or versions. Let's go ahead and jump into career, and we're going to go ahead and check out some other things here. Now with all these options you have here, New Farm is usually the best to get the feel of the map because it actually has what you have produced into it. Now, of course, this does say the standard set to getting started. You don't have a lot of land, but, you know, with some substantial funds. But you also don't have sleep trigger and certain things that come with the new farmer that shows off the actual farm area. So I always like to try and start new farmer. I think uh, Mr. CDP and most people, uh, Farmer Klein does a lot of his tours on new farmer. I think pretty much all of them. And you can change them up, of course. I know Farmer Client or uh, CDP and Farmer Cop usually jump in to check some other ones. I know CDP's really good at it. But uh, yeah, when you do those, you just find out. So if you go into, say, this one here, um, which one should we go to, huh? There's so many options. <laughs> So let's just go, let's go to here. Since, okay, and it, this gives you downloadable content available. You can go in here and deselect it if you don't want to put that in there. So that's kind of nice. And then we go into, click it. And as you can see, the speed demon that this game is, whoosh, riding horses and treating them. And it does tell you some tips and things like it normally does on, like it did on 19 as well down there. Yeah, I remember 19. Jeez, I would go walk over to... Now, also, same thing with mods. If you don't have a bunch of mods, you're obviously going to get a lot cl quicker, so... Oh, yeah. Customization. Went through that already. So, we can go through what you want here. Nothing wrong with that one. <laughs> confirm. Boom. Welcome to Farming Simulator. Let's go ahead and say no, because I did that before. All right. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and change my settings. Alright, so when you get into here, I've obviously got the regular map. Balloons. So starting off, you got your map. Oh, balloon. <laughs> no, I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry. But uh, same as normal, but now it's kind of. This looks. Same, similar, but this one really kind of gets a little off because everything needs to be plowed, which is weird because this doesn't have, it's not even viable. Well, I guess it is actually. Some of this isn't even viable. Uh, and same thing. I'm sure, there's going to be some updates to clear this up a little more, but you know, it's globally out now and it takes a little bit to figure stuff out. So, starting farm there, and like I said, there's a sleep trigger, which you don't get here if you don't start a new farmer. Got a little, little chuck spoo there. Screaming. Ooh. You know what? I have not tried getting the uh, license plates in here. Hmm. Let's try that out then. So, first and foremost, you start off map, obviously. Same same stuff as normal. The crops. A second row, which is interesting because they put the grass on the second level there. But same thing. It's not collected. Harvesting stage now you can see the growing top right over to the right there. There's a lot more growing statuses. <laughs> oh, train. Um so yeah, there's there's that. Oops. And then you got the soil composition, you know, weeds and you can always go down and click them off if you want to too. Same thing same as normal. Hot spots is pretty cool because you can actually go through and click these on and off. So you don't okay, not how many work or so. Contracts so or productions. So let's see. If I click that off, I see all those other productions go away. So now we know what's productions. Spinnery. Oh, that makes cotton. And, uh, ooh, the bakery. Ooh. So it's pretty neat because it you can go through little different things there. This is the active workers, which you don't, we don't have any, obviously. But if we did want to, oops, it's gonna go to my farm. Oh, starting farm. There we are. Bam. 
So we click on that and we can set destination and create jobs. I'll do that in another video though, but I just don't know how to do it yet. <laughs> now this is for crop count. I'm starting August here. And if you turn off the seasonal cycles, it'll actually, this calendar will go away. It's just different. And the weather shows you some stuff here. You can go through the times for the day. Um, yes, this is only one day cycles right now. September each day is a month, technically. Ooh, that drops down there. Huh. Prices. This is another cool thing, too. So, for instance, you want to check the prices per week. So, you go to the prices. You can scroll down over here. Click the button over tab over it with the D-pad. You can check these out. Now, with this, so I know grain mill, for instance. Ooh. Let's take a look. We saw these two grapes. Crop, <laughs> crop, grape processing unit. Let's take a look at that location. So let's go ahead and, oh, and also not square button as you go over it, hit the tab, and it actually shows you fluctuating prices, which is pretty interesting. So you can see where the crop is low and how high it can go up and how it go up and down. It's pretty neat. Let's go to the map again and go to that location. Let's see it flashing right up here. Let's go here. Boom. So this is a great processing. Here's where you drop it off. Now, oh, please, hopefully I did this right. Yep, okay, come over here. This is a processing area, so you can come over here and click on the tab. It tells you, do you want to bill I the grape processing? Let's go ahead and do that. So buy the billing, boom. Right, so we have this now. So this one was purchased. Now we come over close to this. We click on this again. It gives us options here, so raisins and grapes. In the middle there, it says production status missing. Okay, uh, incoming material, we need grapes, and we can produce raisins and grape juice. I, I'll go through this a little bit more. I'm just going through the process of the... Sorry, I just wanted to show you that real quick. There. Okay, so we got the information there so we can, and not all of them do some of them are just you know like if you go to a farm shop it's just a sell point a grocery store too same thing if you go to the mills uh, operation point like the grain elevator I think that's just but like the farm shop you know it's just sell points but some of them will have production which is really nice vehicle overview of course it shows you what your vehicles are pretty self-explanatory there Finances, this is where you can take a loan, pay it back, so that's nice. Animals, no pens yet, we'll go through that at some point as well. Contracts, only one available now, but same thing, you could accept a contract and use your own equipment or borrow items and use that, obviously same thing, you'd reduce price. So that's pretty nice. Uh, I know there's a mod that just came out today for PC where you can actually use, uh, get the straw from the contracts, which is pretty cute. Productions. Now, if we didn't have this one, this would be empty, but it tells you what it needs. Incoming materials, so we need to get some grapes in there, and then we'll get these. And see, it says change output mode. Change it from storing, to selling, or distributing. I have not gone through those yet. Again, I'll do that in another video. Statistics. This gives you an idea of what you've done so far, which you've played six whole seconds, apparently. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I think that's supposed to be six minutes. <laughs> And same thing here, game pause. It took me a while to figure the pause out. I was like, where is that at? But it worked out. Continue. Boom. Okay. Let's go ahead and pause that way out. Let's change the name of the game right there. Just click on that, and then you can do whatever you want on that. Uh, auto save real time, you know, whatever time frame. You go up to 0.5 actually, but all the way up to 120 again, too. Same thing. These go up a little slower increments, which is nice. It works. Economic difficulty. Save the easy, medium, normal, hard. Traffic on or off. Seasonal growth. You can say yes. Uh, see now the top left, you see the calendar right above the other one. Turn it off, it goes away. Calendar goes away, turn it back on, it comes on. Change the days of the month. Days per month. You go up to 28 days, which is a little nuts. But now see that if I go to that and I go up to the calendar. Uh, okay, 
so I'm going to have to figure more of this out. So yeah, we'll go ahead and go back to this. <laughs> Seasonal growth, we'll turn that back to one. Fixed visual months, you can actually turn that to where you can say yes, and you can change it to whatever month you want. And that way you see that month only through the cycles, which is pretty interesting. Snow, yes or no. Crop destruction, same things with normal stuff, periodic plowing, field stones, which is interesting. I did some of that last night. So I'll go through all these things in the process here. But play, kind of play the game a little bit too to learn it, so that way I can report it. Because I don't want to be sitting there going, oh, I think you do this, because which isn't bad learning on together. But sometimes it's nice to have somebody who knows what they're doing a little bit. And I'm not saying that I'm the one, but <laughs> just give it some ideas. Lime required, we can actually turn that off and on. Weed, same thing. Uh, dirt, normal, whoops. Fast and off, slow. So that automatic in the start, stop break, it's pretty well same. Now this one's interesting too. So if you have, so there's weight limits on the vehicles now in 22, it's the first time they did that. Now you can turn it off to where once it's tr full with the capacity size, it'll, it'll stop, you know, obviously, because you can't put any more in there. Now you may have a little extra weight and could get stuck because I've had several times I got stuck, unfortunately. If you turn it on, whatever the weight value is, so for instance, something heavier, if you're using like rocks, so you're dumping rocks just for argument's sake, which is much heavier than, say, wheat or something. So as it goes through, anything that's heavier, it'll stop it before it gets to that level. I had something the other day, I was kind of figuring out, it went up to like 90%, and then it just said max. I was like, why is that? Oh, because I had that trailer fill limit on. Fuel is used to the same thing, same thing with the buy stuff, you can have it on or off. And that's pretty much everything on that menu. General settings, same thing, help window on and off, which you can do. Colorblind mode if you need, uh, interactive zones on and off, which I think is pretty nice to have them on. Oops. Oh, I was doing right there. So, so interactive zones are showing there, if you turn it off, you see they go away. Turn it back on, boom, they pop on. So it's nice to have if you're not, especially for starting off with field info. So we go over here. Oh, it showed materials there too, it does it for production as well. Bottom right says field info. You can turn that off, nothing. Turn it back on, on. Pretty cool stuff. Dollar, miles, Fahrenheit. Hmm. It's interesting that temperatures, I got it set for Fahrenheit, but it's telling us in Celsius up there. Interesting. Radio, of course, you can turn on and off. Um, you can do the radio always on, vehicle only. But set vehicle camera, so same same basic concept of everything. There's a few new additions, but most of it's pretty well the same stuff. So I'm not sure. So let's see. Okay, so if your seat, you will bounce around. If you're in, if you're in the inside view, which is pretty cool, gives you a little more realistic look. All these other things, uh, you can do the gear shift manual or automatic. I haven't tried manual yet, but I don't have a shifter. I know the D-pad does it for the con console up and down. So I've done it before, but driving and trying to back up zoom on console, it works fine still, just like I used to use it before, but on PC, and I think if I had it on manual, it might do different. So I'm driving, if I pull back, trying to zoom out, it'll start downshifting. <laughs> If I'm trying to drive fast, it's like, nee! you know, so it's that good. Of course, you have the engine speed, vehicle speeds, so whichever one on the speedometer. Oh, I could do that. Cool. Anyway, switch trains on and off. I haven't been able to get on a train yet, so I don't know if that actually works yet. Volume, same deals. Uh, gooey, gooey, gooey. And there's all the settings there. Then you got the help menu, which, same thing. Uh, if you want to learn stuff, Definitely go to the help. There's a lot of help there. Um, there's so many YouTube videos on top of it of people just producing, producing, producing. I'm trying to help out when I can, but definitely want to get a bakery. I haven't seen anybody making cakes yet, so I think I'm going to try and do that. Get a bakery together and make some cakes and be one of the first with a strawberry cake. <laughs> Yay! And then I can give it to somebody virtually. <laughs> Same thing, making money, spending money, and this gives you a good breakdown of grapes and olives is a big, you know, sugar cane, sugar pain, I should say. <laughs> yep, and then you got all these other options now. Snow, I haven't tried anything else with these, but a lot of details. 
and the, and of course things are going to change as we go through um, as they update and do more stuff of course so that's good um, that's all yep, that's all this all the settings on there um, now same thing with the why are they stopped there hmm. interesting so let me go back over this way <laughs> get away from those crazy kids <laughs> and on a same thing with here with the the map on the bottom left there um, console at least piece or sorry uh, with PlayStation L1 and then press down the L3 button boom it turns into a square now with that see that's gone with the circle obviously when you turn it turns with you which is interesting different from 19 and everything but this is more like the 19 one as you can tell square like that and it actually stays north south east west so you're not so if you're running like that, oh yeah i'm going that way you know where you're headed to and of course you have the zoom one which is super big and then you can run that stuff and go, oh i didn't see it there <laughs> but yeah the round the circle's cool it's just got to remember which way you're headed Cause right now i think i'm going north i'm going south there's a train down there but yeah that's all the settings on there and uh yeah We'll go to the next episode.